What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. This place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest of Little Hope. Keep looking. Fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. Real nice. There's got to be something. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <clears throat> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Don't give up. I feel we're about to find something. What is that?
What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. Back off, will you? This woman has freaked the fuck out. I knew it. I should have taken the call myself. Just this one time, can you quit bitching? As I walked, a man appeared at my front. I reached out in fear. I had not seen him approach. This man I had never seen before. His clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. He spoke of things I did not understand. I swear I do not know where he came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. <laughs> I'm so falsely accused of what I said. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder come you. now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. We just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors. Those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness, but I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. <laughs> I beg you, good judge, let us conclude our business here without further ado lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor creature seems possessed. No doubt you're doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you turned against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Of Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late.
They are here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. I can't believe how much that woman looked like me. How in the hell is that even possible? When you first told me, I thought you were messing with me or exaggerating. But seeing that woman for myself was a whole world of weirdness. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning, hanging, burning. And let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. Come on. She's just some little kid, who most likely doesn't get how big a deal the whole thing is. She knows exactly how serious it is. Either way, the woman on trial, Angela 2.0, she seemed like she saw us. And... So did some of the others. You're right about that. They definitely saw us. A little kid just seeing us appear out of nowhere? Could easily believe that was witchcraft, especially back then. Dream up all the excuses you want for that little kid. I don't trust her one little bit. We can't explain how we happened to see each other. How do you expect some little girl from 300 years ago to wrap her head around it? That woman, my double, was very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. Maybe you're freaked out because that woman looked so much like Angela. Of course, you can't see someone you recognize or think you recognize in a bad situation like that and not be affected. Thank you, John. I didn't know you cared. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor, we're in here. We can't open the damn doors. We can't either. They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. <laughs> Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is 
fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is, are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Fog is getting worse. Daniel, you need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the? How is that even possible? See for shit. <laughs> Jesus. The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge, so... Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, well, we'll... Get you over for sure. Can't stay here. In this year of our Lord, sixteen hundred and ninety two. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. 
You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the Stop court. This. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he come for us all. Little Hope is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poison from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Hope, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by accuser. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reverend be your very fit. Isaac. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Give us a moment here, will ya? We've just gone through something pretty tough. Tough in what way? I need a moment. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. John, hold on. Reach up and grab my hand. Jump up and grab onto me. Okay, I trust you. Phew, that was really quite close for Angela. She was almost lost to a fate worse than death. Not that there's anything particularly wrong with death. 
Well done. Not a soul lost so far. Things could have been quite different. Given the way in which the stakes have been elevated, some kind of weapon might be useful about now, don't you think? You really should have explored more thoroughly, you know. Too late now. The boys have some interesting theories. Could they, as Andrew has suggested, be the reincarnated souls of their historical counterparts? Or maybe you're choosing to believe Daniel's theory, that they're already dead. My dream was lengthened after life. Oh, then began the tempest to my soul. I passed, methought, the melancholy flood with that sour ferryman, which poets write of unto the kingdom of perpetual night. <laughs> it's possible, I suppose. Maybe the bus driver can shed some light. This must be very confusing for you right now. Doppelgangers, witches, ghosts, death, and demons. What could possibly tie all of these souls together? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? I have been granted permission to give you a single hint. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will once again turn to the bard for some cryptic inspiration. I met him once, you know. I meet everybody. Once. Act 5, scene 1, where Cleomenes begs Leontes to forgive himself for causing the death of Hermione. Do as the heavens have done. Forget your evil. With them, forgive yourself. Go on then. As terrifying as it might be, you should get back to it. 